Before the exam, this skill will be performed on a mannequin. The test evaluator will play the voice of the mannequin, so treat the mannequin as you would a living patient. You will perform your opening by knocking, identifying your patient by name, introducing yourself by name and title, describing what skill you will be performing, and obtaining consent. Explain that you will be closing the curtain, washing your hands, and gathering your supplies. Ask the patient what they want to wear today. The evaluator will answer for your mannequin. After washing your hands, place a barrier on the overbed table and gather the clothing that the patient has chosen. You will need a shirt, pants, and socks. Place the clothing on the barrier, keeping the patient's clean clothing away from your uniform. Put a privacy blanket over the sheet covering the patient, being careful to unfold the blanket and lay it over the sheet. Do not shake or snap the blanket open. Hold the blanket at the top and pull the sheet to the bottom of the bed, underneath the blanket, ensuring that the blanket is covering the patient for warmth and privacy. Explain each step that you will be doing to the patient before you begin that step. Uncover the patient's feet and carefully remove the soiled socks. Supporting the patient's leg under the ankle as you lift each leg off the bed. Place the soiled socks in the dirty linen hamper. Pick up the clean socks and separate them. Scrunch one sock from the opening toward the toe seam and slide it over the patient's toes and foot using one hand to support the patient's leg underneath their calf as you lift the leg off the bed to slide the sock over the heel. Smooth the sock to ensure that there are no wrinkles on the bottom of the foot or the ankle. These wrinkles can cause pressure sores as the weight of the foot presses down into the bed. Move to the other side of the bed and repeat the process, taking care to support the leg as you lift it. Pick up the pants. Explain to the patient that you will be putting her pants on. Scrunch one leg from waistband to bottom hem by sliding your hand through the leg and grasping the bottom hem. Hold the pants leg in the scrunched position and slide it over the foot and ankle. Gently lift and support the leg with one hand while you slide the pants leg over the patient's heel and up the leg. Leave the pants in this scrunched position around the ankle while you move to the other side of the bed. Using the same process, scrunch the other side of the pants up and slide it over the patient's foot and ankle, supporting the leg from beneath as you lift it. Once the pants have been put over both feet, grasp the waist of the pants and pull upward over the knees. Ask the patient to lift their hips to allow you to slide the pants over the hips. Make sure you have positioned the pants over the hips and buttocks. You will have to manually move the patient's hips upward as you slide the pants up when using a mannequin. Adjust the pants legs to cover the patient's legs appropriately and replace the blanket. Explain to the patient that you will now be moving the head of the bed to an upright position and adjust the head of the bed. If unsure how to move the head of the bed, ask the evaluator how to work the bed controls. Once the head of the bed is in an upright position, assist the patient to lean forward to untie the patient's gown. Tuck a corner of the privacy blanket behind the closest shoulder to ensure privacy. Verify which arm is weak. Remove the gown from the strong arm by sliding the gown down the arm and over the hand. A good way to remember this is by using the acronym USA FIRST. Undress Strong Arm FIRST. 
ensure the patient remains covered by the privacy blanket, and move to the other side of the bed. Tuck the remaining corner of the blanket behind the patient's shoulder and carefully slide the gown down the weak arm. Extend the patient's arm by sliding your hand below the elbow from behind and finish removing the gown while supporting the arm at all times. Return the arm carefully to the bed, ensure the patient remains covered, and place the gown into the soiled linen hamper. The patient's weak arm must be dressed first. Pick up the shirt and locate the arm of the shirt that corresponds to the patient's weak arm. Scrunch the arm of the jacket up from shoulder to wrist and place your hand through the hand opening. Grasp the patient's hand as if you were shaking hands. This keeps all fingers secured in your grasp and prevents the fingers from being bent backwards as the sleeve is slid over the hand. Slide the sleeve over the hand and the forearm making sure the elbow remains supported on the bed. Extend the patient's arm by sliding your hand below the elbow from behind and slide the shirt sleeve over the upper arm and shoulder, taking care to support that arm at the elbow at all times. Have the patient lean forward and smooth the shirt along the patient's back. Assist them to lean back against the pillow and move to the other side of the bed. Scrunch the remaining sleeve from shoulder to cuff and hold above the patient's head. Assist the patient to extend their strong arm up and slightly behind their head to insert their arm into the remaining sleeve and then smooth the sleeve along the arm. Snap or button all fasteners on the front of the shirt appropriately, ensuring that the shirt is smooth and properly applied. Lean the patient forward to make adjustments as necessary by supporting the patient along the upper back. Remove the blanket by pulling from the bottom and ensure that all clothing looks neat and appropriate. Presentation counts on this skill, so take a few moments to adjust the clothing as necessary. Place the privacy blanket into the soiled linen hamper. Remove the barrier from the bedside table and discard it in the trash receptacle. Ensure that your patient feels okay and ask if they would like the head of the bed adjusted for comfort. Give the patient their call light and ask if there is anything else you can do for the patient while you are there. Ensure that the patient's environment is clean and neat. Open the privacy curtain and leave to wash your hands. Review each step of the skill that you have completed and make any corrections as necessary. Finally, tell the evaluator your skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step-by-step -step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.